hospital, some former patients may have been exposed to hepatitis B or C or even HIV. Yeah, Peace Health St. John Medical Center in Longview contacting more than 250 former patients. And tonight, Amy Frazier getting answers on all of this. As a precaution, hospital leaders here tell me it's important for certain former patients who may have been exposed to be tested. We apologize for the concern this may cause our patients, their families, and our community at large. 260 patients are receiving this letter from Peace Health St. John Medical Center offering free testing for hepatitis B and C and HIV. The patients were fitted for dental appliances for sleep apnea between November of 2013 and February of this year. I found out some sterilization steps might not have been followed correctly on the equipment used for the dental device fitting. Are employees trained to take those steps? Employees are trained to take those steps. But they weren't. Uh, the employees were trained to take those steps, and we found so, some steps that were missing. Something recently discovered during an internal review of infection control practices. Hospital leaders tell me the risk of infection is low. But we want to exercise an abundance of caution. So far, no involved patients have tested positive. However, testing is ongoing. I also asked about the safety of future patients. What's being done to prevent this from happening again? To prevent this from being happening again, uh, we have uh, now centralized our processes. Dental equipment used in the sleep center is now being sterilized in a specialized area of the hospital where all of the people, that's all they do all day is uh, sterilize equipment. If you have questions or concerns about a former patient, we have much more information for you at coin.com. Reporting in Longview, Amy Fraser, Coin 6 News.